Hello everyone and welcome back to the Electronics Speak. Today in this video we are going to discuss about how to become an embedded engineer. If you haven't watched the previous video how to become a VLSI engineer then do watch that video the link is in the i button. So for more such videos do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss the video. Do follow us on Instagram. This is the overview which we are going to discuss in this video. The first we will see what is embedded system then we will see the embedded system basic structure and after that we will see how you can prepare for the embedded jobs the pay scale and at last we will see the embedded company so the embedded means something which is attached with the another the mobile phone is consists any parts like ram rom camera everything is into the single chip this is the meaning of embedded if you will see the definition of an embedded system embedded system is a microcontroller or microprocessor based system which is designed to perform a specific task if you take an example like a fire alarm in an embedded system what it will do it will sense the only the smoke we will see particularly all the real life example like Arduino and Raspberry Pi. And if we talk particularly about the Arduino, then we have seen that uh, in Arduino everything is inbuilt, like uh, microprocessor is there, and uh, analog input, analog output, and the digital pins are there. Everything is there in, in this single chip. That's why it is known as embedded system. The embedded system has three components. The first one is hardware, basically. The hardware can be the microcontroller microprocessor and the second is the uh, second one is the software it is required to run the hardware if you talk about the Arduino then for the Arduino we require the Arduino programming like a C programming and it has the real-time operating system uh, like in the Arduino if you want to blink a LED light you can blink at the same time by running the code the basic structure of the embedded system is first thing is the memory and the input pins that is analog input pins or digital input or output pins and obviously the processor code and the basic chips like it can be the uh, some voltage control chips or any other IC okay so these are the basic structure of the embedded system so this is the basic structure of the embedded system which is consists of the four or five components to get a job in an embedded system or to be an embedded engineer you have to master these subjects the first one is the like digital electronics second one is the analog electronics the data structure microprocessor and learn unix os so basically most of the companies works on the unix os because it is secure and uh, more powerful than the windows so you have to learn unix os and the most important thing is you have to learn c programming as well as c++ programming. this programming languages are very important for the embedded system as uh, these subjects are only 10 percent of the embedded system and the rest of 90 percent of the thing is c programming as well as c++ so you have to master c and c++ programming so these are the steps which you have to follow to be a good embedded engineer and get a good job so the first step is you have to master your core subjects and the second step is you have to master programming languages whether it's c or c plus plus both are important and after mastering these two steps then you have to move to the third step that is you have to buy a kit that you can buy a arduino kit or the Raspberry Pi. the fourth step is you have to make a project and after learning about the arduino or the, or the Raspberry Pi, you have to make as much as project you can or even you can uh, take the help of your professors to get the projects and at last you can apply for the jobs so if you have a good number of projects in your resume then definitely they will hide if you will talk about the pay scale then you will in a startup you will get around 2.5 lakh to the 5 lakh for a fresher this is an average for a fresher and uh, in the top MNCs you will get around 5 lakh to 12 lakh as a fresher so if we talk about the embedded companies so these are the some of the companies which has the embedded engineer there are many other startup and other companies which has the embedded engineer i visited some of them intel tech instruments freescale flips samsung lg wipro these are the some of the companies which has the embedded engineer the pay scale is good in this company if you need more companies information then you can comment it below or you can message me on instagram basically if you want to learn the embedded you can't learn by reading a books or by uh, watching the videos what you have to do is you have to practice as much as you can whatever you have learned you have to apply embedded is like learning the cycle if you want to learn the cycle you can't learn by reading the books or by watching the videos so what you have to do is you have to buy the cycle you have to write the cycle then only you can learn the cycle the same way you have to practice a lot and lot to become a good embedded engineer so for embedded system you can follow some of the top lectures of NPDL and there are many other youtubers teach you the embedded system so you can follow them if you need that link you can comment it below or you can message on this Instagram okay? so that's it for today guys if you find this video informative please like the video and share this video with your friends and for more such videos do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss the video so i will be back with another video next week so take care bye bye